Hi you guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to start off this vlog. I literally just woke up, like just woke up, and I came out to the kitchen to grab my camera because I really wanted to start out this vlog. I'm gonna do a little day in my life vlog. It's Friday, but I have no work today for some reason. I was not scheduled, which never happens. I'm usually scheduled every day, Monday through Friday, but I don't know what happens. So I'm super happy about it. And I'm gonna use this day as just like a reset day, you know, get everything together. I just moved into my new apartment um, and I just, there's a lot I need to do. I need to go grocery shopping. I have to get my nails done too. I wanna do that at some point today because I broke this one. And I wanna get a pedicure because it's been like a while since I've done that, which I like never really want to go get my nails done. So I feel like since I have the whole day free, I should definitely do that as well. Sorry, I keep looking down. I'm uploading this or I'm waiting for this TikTok vlog to upload. Um, but I know I was supposed to be making a move in vlog, which I ended up not doing both on TikTok and YouTube. I had some, I'm not even gonna like explain it, but I had some issues moving in. So I ended up um, not vlogging really at all and just moved in and then took like a few days off of TikTok and just not really vlogging to kind of get settled in and it was actually kind of nice i feel like everything worked out for the best and i'm kind of glad that i could just like take time to myself and time away from TikTok and you know move in and not really worry about other things like that um, but I'm back now and I'm super excited. I'm uploading my first vlog in a little bit and I'm super excited to be filming a vlog for YouTube again and Yeah, I feel like I just needed like a second But now I'm all situated in my new place and I'm super excited and I'm so happy to be here and Yeah, so I just want to start off the vlog kind of explain the whole situation that there will not be a move-in vlog But this will be my first this will be my like first new apartment vlog because obviously I've got a lot to do. I just ordered bar stools for my little bar area. Um, and I'll definitely give you guys a little bit of an apartment tour in this video, of course. I do need like some recommendations, some help with what to do with my space and certain things. So I'll definitely um, be showing you guys my apartment in this video. So it's not gonna be like, I'm not gonna do an apartment tour or anything like that. And I'll definitely do like an updated apartment tour once everything's done too. So I don't know, I'm super excited. Sorry, I just woke up. I feel like my voice always sounds weird when I wake up. So I just feel like I should say that. But um, I'm gonna quickly watch this vlog that I just posted just to make sure I love it so much, even though I literally or watch it before I post it and then I have to watch it after it's posted because I'm just a weirdo. But I'm gonna go do that. And then I'll be back. I literally just woke up, so I have to go brush my teeth um, and get dressed. And then I think we're going to go get coffee and maybe stop at my home. Um, my home, like you, you guys know the home that I lived at before this. Um, because there are a few things that I need. My mom left me like a pile of random stuff um, that I have to go pick up. Like I need those lamp. See how those lamps don't have shades on them? It's because the shades are on the floor because they don't have one piece to connect them. So my mom like ordered that for me and just like some random stuff she has for me, I guess. So I think I'm gonna go get those today too. I want to get my nails done. I have to go grocery shopping so badly and I need to organize. I wanna organize my closet, organize, I guess that's pretty much it. Like this whole area is organized. So my closet, my bathroom, those are things that are most important to organize. And yeah, so I'll be back in a little bit, probably once I'm dressed and stuff. What's the weather? It's 41 degrees. Okay, so it's not even like freezing. I mean, yeah, not even like freezing cold. I'm honestly like not even gonna make my bed. I'm gonna make it like just by pulling over the covers because I'm probably gonna get right back into it if I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I got dressed, showed you guys my fit. Um, the little cardigan is aloe, obviously. 
Uh, tank is for people, and then aloe pants, of course. Um, putting on my bracelets, I think. Actually, this goes in the laundry. I'm gonna start a load before I leave. I think I'm gonna go, I definitely am gonna get coffee. Um, I have chocolate next to my bed. I have to bring this to the kitchen. I think I'm gonna definitely get coffee. Probably dunks, if I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, I'll get coffee for sure. <clears throat> but what else do I wanna like, I have to decide kind of what I wanna do. Do I wanna go home to get this stuff? I definitely don't wanna get my nails done right now. I know that much. <laughs> All I can smell is the everything bagels in here. And they're so strong. 11, 12? Wait, that's already passed? Right? Yeah, 11, 12 has already passed. 11, oh, 11, 21, it says 11, 21. I'm stupid, okay, that's okay. Um, trash and then laundry, okay. I still don't have a trash can, so I've just had like a trash bag hanging. Let's do laundry quick. I last night put like some, oh yeah, I put a load in here, but I didn't start it because I was about to go to sleep and I was like, I'm not gonna friggin' switch the laundry again, so. I love this wash. The washer and dryer in unit is insanely amazing. Like, I can't even explain how freaking awesome it is. Um, is there anything in the dryer I want to I don't think there is, but I should probably check. My phone just fell. Okay. Detergent. Um. Dana was like, where are your dryer sheets? Am I supposed to have dryer sheets? I don't even know what those do or what those are. Okay, I use this Arm & Hammer ah, Sensitive Skin Detergent. I don't know, Maggie recommended it and I love it so far. It smells pretty good and it's not strong at all. I hate like a strong, gross smelling detergent, you know? These are done. Yeah, but we're gonna leave them for now. So I guess I'll go get coffee and maybe stop at home and then come back, put away, what is this little thing? Really, what is this? It just came out of the wall. I'm just like freaked out about it. I don't know what it is. Um, but, okay, I'm gonna start this load. And then, yeah, I think we'll go home to get whatever I need to get. And then coffee or coffee first, whatever. And then come back and get situated with like all the stuff I need to do. And then maybe take an outing a little bit later after I shower maybe. Um, to go to the grocery store and maybe get my nails done. Okay, so a few things. First, I have to decide where I want coffee from. I think Duncan. Yeah, I think Duncan. Um, it's freezing in here also. But I did get like a reserved spot, but I can't find it. So that's another one of the issues I have. I just put the sticker on because I took off the Bryant sticker and replaced it with that one. And it says spot zero zero and then two numbers so i was assuming all the spots will be like zero zero and then two numbers you know like that's how they'll be numbered all the spots around here are like 172 173 174 like that's what they'll like so why does my spot look like that or is that not my number is that not the number of my spot is that just a random reserved number and i have to find the number of my spot like how am i supposed to like i'm just confused 
I think I'm gonna take a loop around, um, like around the lot back there to see if I'm going crazy and if I really can find that number. Cause I feel like the only times I've looked have been in the um, dark, like the night time. So maybe it'll be easier to find. I have to throw away the trash in my car. I guess I'll do that when I get home too. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna go see if I can find numbered spots that look like that number. I also have to pick up my jacket. I left it at this bar and this is Kylie's and it's way bigger than mine. I think mine's a small or an extra small and this one must be like a medium or a large because why is it so huge feeling? I like don't know what dunks to go to either. Okay, nearby. Yeah, let's go to this one nearby because I'd like to figure out the nearest to Duncan anyway. I haven't gone there yet. And I'm gonna get my regular cold brew oat milk. One caramel, one French vanilla. All right, I'll update you guys once I get it probably. And I'm, I'll let you know if I found my spot. I got the coffee, but my check engine light's on you guys. And I was gonna get it fixed today, but I have too much to do. I don't wanna get it back. I just keep putting it off. That's the one thing I'll really keep putting off. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really good. Um, my check engine light literally just turns on and off all the time. Oh wow, it's so good. Oh wow. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna go home to my home home <laughs> and get some things and then I guess I'll go back to my apartment and do my organizing. Okay, you guys, I just got home, or I just went, picked up all the stuff, got in my car. I'm still at my house, but I'm about to leave. Um, I'm deciding if I should go take my car in. I think I'm just gonna go do it. I'm gonna say that I don't have like someone to pick me up, so if they can do it quick, I'll sit there and wait. And if they can't, I'll bring it back tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, I'll show you guys what I picked up from my house because it is some like random stuff. First of all, I'll show you the, the big box is a toaster because my mommy got me a toaster. I'm so excited because I've been needing a toaster. Like I wanna make, um, I can make the bagel, that I was talking about this morning, you know, those bagels. I've got all the stuff to make a bagel sandwich, so I can make a bagel sandwich. I think I'll probably do that today. Um, that sounds so yummy. And then I just put everything in this bag because I don't know how I'm gonna carry it up into my apartment. I also think I'll need to take two trips and I need to find the mail room because I found my Amazon packages were delivered. I'm so excited. So I have to go find those because they're all like little apartment things that I've been needing. These are the things for the lamps that I was telling you about that attach the shades to the actual like lamp. And then this, oh, this scale is just for my bathroom. She wanted me to take to my new bathroom. And then in here, um, this was for my dorm, just a little outlet thing that she thinks I will find use for. So she wants me to bring it, I guess. Okay. Because it has like USB outlets too. So I feel like that, I mean, I guess she's right. That is pretty useful. So. I don't know, it's all like jumbled up. Okay, whatever, it's really matter. Um, and then the last thing, she got me a little present. I'm so excited because I I did order. So I love candles and I'm so happy to like have my own place to like burn candles in now because I could burn candles in my house or in my bedroom, but like it's just one bedroom. So I feel like the smell after a while, like it just makes my head hurt and then I blow it out and then whatever. But now I like actually use candles and it like makes my house smell yummy. So I love them. So she got me two new candles. I did order one new one on Amazon because I didn't know she was gonna get me candles, but I'll show you guys cause it did arrive. So I'll show you guys when I go get that in the mail room. But I'm so excited about these. Um, I think they're Christmas candles. Yeah. Tis the season. Oh, they're Bath and Body Works. I didn't even realize that's where she got them from. So this one's Tis the season. I'm gonna burn these literally right when I get home. Oh, yum. Oh, that's Christmas for sure. Oh my god, yum! I can't wait. Oh my god, I love my mom. And then what's the last one? Oh, wait. They're the same. Oh yeah, they are the same. But I swear they weren't the same when she sent me a picture of them. Hold on, I'm gonna check the picture because I swear I remember one was like green. I mean, I don't care if they're the same, but I just wanna make sure she didn't accidentally give me. Yeah, look. This is the picture she sent me and one of them was fresh blossom. But she's asleep, but I don't wanna leave and come back. Should I just go see if I can find that other candle? Okay, I'm gonna go and see if I can find a green one to switch it out with in there because I mean, not that I care if I have two red ones, but if she got me two different ones, 
I'm assuming she probably just put the wrong ones or she accidentally put two of the same one in my bag and she didn't mean to. And I don't want to drive all the way back here like in today or tomorrow. So I'm going to go see if I can switch this out for one that I find. Okay, you guys, I found it. I feel bad because my mom's asleep, but like worst case scenario, I'll bring it back if she, if I'm wrong. But I'm assuming she meant to give me two different candles and she meant to, so I switched out one of the red ones and put that one in the bathroom. And it actually matches better because the soap is red in there. So it looks better, but, and then I took this one from the bathroom. It says fresh blossom. Let's smell it, I haven't smelled it yet. Oh, it's like um Christmas tree. I like that too, but they're very different. I like them both a lot, actually. I don't know which one I should burn. Um, okay, so as I said, so what the plan is, we're gonna go to Haskins and see if they can fix my car quick. Cause sometimes it's a quick fix. Sometimes it's not, but we'll see if it's a quick fix. And if it is, I'll just wait in the little waiting room. If it's not, I'll leave and bring my car back another day because I don't wanna like wait there forever and I don't have someone to like pick me up or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go back to my apartment and I need to find where my packages go to. So I got an email that it said like, stop by the concierge desk. I don't know how to say that word, but to pick up your packages. So does that just mean the front desk? No, I don't think so. Or maybe, I guess I'll just go to the front desk and ask where my packages are delivered to and then they'll probably help me. But um, I just don't like to do things for the first time. I hate when like I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, my nose. See, I'm hoping it'll be simple and easy to find my packages and then I'll bring them up. I'll probably have to take a few trips because I have a huge toaster now and <laughs> some random stuff, but we'll make it upstairs and then I can start organizing, cleaning all my stuff. I'll probably make a bagel sandwich for breakfast. What time is it? It's 12.10, so it's not, it's not even the afternoon yet. I woke up pretty late. Well, I woke up at like 10.30, which is good. I haven't been able to sleep in in kind of a while. I've been waking up at like 9 a.m. most days. I mean, this is only my second night in my apartment. So last night I did have, not last night, this night, okay, the last time I slept, I had a great sleep. Like last night I slept amazing. I fell asleep right when I wanted to and then I woke up at, um, I woke up at like 10.30. I'd never sleep in that long. So I slept from like, from like probably one, cause I was making cinnamon rolls. So I'd say like 1 a.m. I probably went to bed to um, 10.30, which is amazing for me. But the night before that was my first night in my apartment and it was a little bit harder to sleep. So I fell asleep around um, like 11.30, 12 maybe. And then I ended up waking up at like 1.32. And I woke up and I was like hot. I slept in my clothes, which I never do. So I like took off my clothes cause I was like hot. And like, I'm not comfortable when I'm in clothes. So I took off my clothes. I turned on my fan. Like I had, didn't have the fan on. Like I just wasn't situated yet really. Um, and then I turned down the, I made it even cooler in like the whole, like did the um, thermostat. And then, I don't know, I like went to the bathroom and just like like got up for a sec and then tried to go back to sleep and it was totally fine. It was super easy for me to go back to sleep. And, wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, I remember it was super easy for me to go back to sleep. And then, oh, this turn stresses me out. And then I woke up, oh. I woke up um, kind of early that day as well. I woke up at like nine. Or, no, I woke up at like 8.50, a little bit before my alarm. So, it just like wasn't the best night's sleep. Like, I woke up and I woke up too early. But it was definitely just because it was like my first night there. And then tonight, I had like literally the best night's sleep ever. And I'm so obsessed with my new place and everything. I'm so, so happy. Um, but yeah, I'm about to pull into Haskins. So, I'll let you guys know what, what happens with my car. And yeah. Update. Okay, I just sat in Haskins for like 30 minutes. I don't even know if it was, the, maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe it was like 20, I don't know. Cause it, I thought it was much later than 12.49. It's 12.50, I guess. Putting my key back on, um, <clears throat> they couldn't even fix it. Well, they can. So he said it's the same thing as last time. So they need to replace whatever it is. I see, I'm like all confused about cars, but basically it's something that needs to be replaced because last time they just like fixed it or tried to fix it, but now it needs to be replaced is the deal. So he ordered the part and he said it'll be here like after Thanksgiving and then they can schedule a time for me to bring my car in and it'll take two and a half hours. So I'll have to like get picked up or like drop it off, you know? But I'm glad that I at least have it figured out and have like, they're ordering the part and then they'll call once it's here and 
yeah so i'm glad that it's like taken not taken care of but like you know uh there's nothing more i can do right now which like makes me feel much better um i'm gonna go back to my apartment and go try to find those packages and then we'll try to bring these things up too and yeah i just have a lot of organizing to do i have to organize my closet and i want to clean my bathroom like i have like some bathroom cleaner and i just haven't like cleaned it yet i've cleaned my kitchen and my living room so much and i just haven't cleaned my bathroom so i'm gonna do that um clean the bathroom organize the closet are the two like big priorities for today and then also organize the bathroom i have just like all my random stuff i just put in random cabinets and i need to like actually organize it so those are the things i want to do once i get home and obviously eat at some point i'm probably gonna make a bagel sandwich once with my new toaster um and then later if i want to have another outing i'll maybe go get my nails done and if not or if i can't get an appointment i'll just um go grocery shopping get my nails done maybe tomorrow some other time over the weekend i found a place near my apartment that looks really really good so i kind of want to try them out um so yeah maybe i'll do that okay sitting in like insane traffic on my way back home and i was just thinking so i wanted to like look out the camera and this light's turning red now so i'm gonna be here for a while but um Something that I don't talk about much on my channel and something that I was just kind of thinking about and honestly like something that I've been thinking about kind of recently Not a lot, but like more than usual What is that? Retail and restaurant space for lease new construction cafe. They're opening a cafe right here I'm so obsessed with my new little like where I live my neighborhood is it's like my favorite place ever um <clears throat> but the only thing i don't like is this road is so insanely bumpy on my way not home but anywhere i want to go i always usually take a right um down this like road and it's just insanely bumpy like you guys i'll show you one time it's like literally like boom 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 boom, boom. like it's like i can't even explain it <laughs> but um see it's like what's going on here everyone's there's just so much like traffic and people but that's the only thing i don't like about like where i live the bumpy road but everything else is so freaking amazing i'm so happy i feel like something that we have to talk about is friendships especially like going to college and how friendships alter and like change so much so i don't really know like how i wanted to talk about this but i was just thinking about like like you really i feel like college and when people go to college not that i mean i did go to college but like not me specifically because i'm not in college right now but when you go to college like when it's your year to go to college which like for some reason everyone thinks they have to go to college right when they graduate high school so let's just say like it's um senior year you graduate high school and you're going to college like everyone else because you think that that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> um it's just like like you don't really keep high school friends unless you have okay unless first of all it's like a best best friend who like you talk to every single day and you like still talk to every single day now that you're at college that is like something that i see a lot and then if you have like a friend group like a like a certain like obviously just like a group that you would always hang out with and you like have a group chat that you text in every single day like those are the only two situations where you go to college and you keep your friends if you don't have that and you have a bunch of people who you you consider your friends but they're not you're you're not in their friend group or you you don't have one best friend or whatever the fuck you don't keep those friends because those people all they care about is their friend group and or their best friend like they don't they don't care about all these random people that they were friends with in high school because now they're in college and they have all these new random people so they don't care about you anymore you know so oh this turns into one lane that's why there was so much beeping going on please let me in let me in please so you know that oh hi why is that guy so happy um okay almost home now but i feel and it's like something that people don't talk about that much and i feel like it's so important that i do talk about it on my channel because i know a lot of you guys that watch me are similar ages to me and probably going through similar things and i know a lot of you guys go, are in college or i mean i've talked to a lot of you guys about how you don't want to go to college or don't um Cho chose not to go to college or chose to wait to go to college and i feel like just a lot of people are in similar situations to me and if not even just like similar age group as me so i feel like you can definitely relate and 
it's just like there's certain times where like I, I understand that people go to college and you get really busy and you get all these new friends but like there's certain times where I don't really understand why you can't do both or why someone and and it's good it's good that it's good that I I'm like very, like I don't know how to explain it it's good that I am noticing this now and like no for the future I guess I'm just gonna park right here on the side and un and run up with the box and then come back down drive to the front I guess and go try to figure out where the packages go to but um it's good to notice because now I know like whoever I think are my real friends aren't if they're not like reaching out and stuff but the thing is it's why it's different in my situation is I'm like home you know I'm like 15 minutes from where I live you know and everyone that I know is in college so it's it's way more easier to see how people don't care to reach out because I'm always home so when these people come home I, w I mean I would think that they would reach out and be like hey I'm coming home like want to hang out or whatever like I want to see you but because I'm I'm not gonna know when you're coming home and even if and even if I see that you're coming home or I see you post something about like coming home or whatever I'm not gonna reach out because then it's then I already know you decided not to you know because you're the one coming home and you know you're coming home and you know I'm home so I mean and I'm not like yelling at a specific person I know I'm like kind of like very sternly talking about this but it's just it's something that's been on my mind a lot and it's not it's not about one specific person it's just in general and I think a lot of people can relate to it and I think it's just important that you you note things in your head and you're like okay these people people that don't reach out to you when they're coming home people that don't go out of their way to reach out to you until it's convenient or until they want something from you or until whatever they're not your real friends so when they reach out to you you gotta be like sorry no you know or I mean you could say yeah I'm not saying don't ever hang out with someone who's not your best friend but it's just like if people don't make an effort and people don't care to see you or reach out to you until they are like oh wait I'm so bored this one random night maybe I'll reach out to you know it's just like if you're not a priority don't just just realize it and and know for the future to okay don't reach out to that person and when they reach out to you if they do and if it's like a last minute thing then you know why because I I'm bad at explaining things but I feel like you guys know what I'm getting at um and college and friendships and all that type of stuff is just so weird how like things change and all sorts of stuff especially when you don't go to college or um you're in any sort of situation that's not the like standard go to college after high school like how everyone thinks it should be so yeah and I kind of do want to make a sit down video talking about not only this but like friendships and just like all sorts of stuff and just do like a Q&A type video so I'm gonna do an Instagram story and ask you guys questions for that because I think it is very important that I do like a sit down video uh more more of an updated one because I haven't done one in a while and I do have a lot to say as you guys can tell about like situations or stuff like this and um yeah I I feel like it's just this time and this age is such a weird age um and like with friendships it's it's very weird um especially if you don't go to college if you do go to college then you have all these new friends and it kind of like just makes up for it and you don't really feel like lonely but I I do know a lot of people who go to college and still do feel lonely and that's kind of how I felt because you don't have like these people that you've known your whole life I've been with the same people my entire life like just like my town public school I've been going to this the same school system as all the same people for my entire life like I've never been thrown into a situation where I don't know people you know and I was thrown into a situation where I don't know people in college and it, it's it's very easy to feel lonely and I know that and I know I would have by now too I would have definitely not felt lonely because I already I mean I had all my sweet mates and all these friends but it's just like people that they don't know you you know like they 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 aren't the people you've grown up with they aren't you know so it's just like it's weird and I do understand that college can feel very lonely especially in the beginning um before you find your group and you find your people and you really like get to know people and I feel like that's when you actually start feeling less lonely um 
that's just kind of another thing I wanted to talk about, like, being lonely in college, and it's, like, totally normal, and don't feel like, if, also, like, if you don't have a friend group in college yet, or you don't have all these friends, and you see everyone having all these friends, like, don't feel, like, first of all, don't feel like you, don't feel bad for not having friends yet, or not having, like, the bestest group of friends yet, you know? It's so, still so early, and you're still, you were just thrown into this situation of so many people you don't know, like, don't be hard on yourself for that, but also don't just make friends with random people that you don't like you know like i feel like you go to college and you make friends with i mean be nice to everyone obviously but if there's certain people who don't give you a good vibe and make you feel like i don't want to be friends with them, like they're not really the type of person i want to be friends with don't be friends with them you don't have to be friends with everyone like find people who make you feel good who make you happy who you want to be with all the time in college and if you don't if you haven't found them you will like don't don't make friends with random people that you hate just to have friends you know do like like wait take a step back it's totally normal to not have met your your perfect group yet you know like it's so early so that's another thing i just wanted to talk about um so yeah i don't know this kind of turned into like a little rant but i feel like friendships is such an important thing to talk about and i don't talk about it that much and i feel like it's just something that affects everyone obviously and everyone has a different situation with it so i kind of just want to talk about a few situations that i've been in or have seen in like a similar age group to me so yeah i'm gonna go bring this stuff in um i'll update you guys when i get my packages and stuff but yeah Okay, I know no one here, obviously, like in the building, but I just took the elevator because I had the huge box. So I just like, usually I would take the stairs right at the door that I walk into, just go up the stairs to my floor, to my room. But it, today I decided to take the elevator, obviously. And I met, <laughs> or found some, or met some lady in there and she's like, and then there were like some two other people and she's like, there's never this many people in here. It's always so quiet. And then as we were stepping out the elevator, this old man and I, I didn't like look at him but he was in a suit and tie so i assumed he worked there and then um like the lady said hi to him and then he said hi kate how are you and i was like wait he's like the guy who i don't know how to explain it but like i don't know what his name is i mean i don't know like what his job title is but he's not the landlord he might i don't know he just he works there and he was there at the front not the front desk but like in a little office behind the front desk um <clears throat> last time but i like never really met him and it caught me so off guard that he said my name because I like, I think no one here, I don't know anyone here, no one here knows my name. So it was just like funny, but um, <clears throat> brought the box up and now I have to go, I'm going to go get my packages and then I think I'm just going to go take the elevator back down to the first floor, go get my packages or figure out where they are and then <clears throat> um, bring them up, then go back down, move my car to where I typically park it and then come back up. I just opened the door over there because I might open the other one too, actually. And it doesn't smell bad in here, but I just, I feel like it still smells kind of like new apart, just like how it smelled when I first moved in. And, oh, this door doesn't really open, I remember, I think. So I don't have a balcony or anything, but I do have doors with screens. Yeah, this one doesn't open. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna leave that one open for a little bit while I, cause it's not too cold out or anything. Um, kind of air it out a little bit while I go get the rest of my packages and stuff um but yeah I'll be back I think I'm gonna go get my packages bring them up move my car come back and I'll show you guys my packages and stuff all right you guys it's actually a stunning day out I since I had the door open and I just like was outside I took kind of the long way well I just had to park kind of far so I like to be able to walk outside and it was so beautiful and lovely let's Sorry, I feel like my boobs are falling out of this little tank. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna do a little haul of one of the boxes. Okay. He also told me to download the app, so my, because my packages were just behind the, um, like front desk, like the door guys was just standing there and they were right next to him <laughs> but he said I could set up a locker for packages um which I should do I guess but let's open this one first I know this is the toaster so let's just like get it set up um 
And what else? Oh, he gave me a luggage cart to <laughs> wheel my baggages up the up to my apartment. And it was funny because I literally had two huge packages on my. Um, on this like luggage cart and I was just like wheeling around with it. It was so funny. So here's the toaster. It's a black pepper, um, just like regular toaster oven. It wasn't too pricey, I don't think. I mean, my mom ordered it for me, but I feel like I saw it online and it's like a pretty like regular price for toaster, I think. Um, I'll actually find it and put it in my storefront for you guys. But here it is. It's like just a very regular toaster, I'm pretty sure but I do want to open it and kind of get it set up. It's funny that a toaster oven is like the one kitchen appliance that I will use religiously. Like I make toast all the time. Like toast is such a good snack too. I love to put like jam and butter, like jelly, strawberry jam or jelly and butter on toast is like the best thing ever for some reason. Um, and then avocado toast, obviously my bagels, bagel sandwiches, just a bagel with cream cheese. Like I'm, I'm a toast, I'm a toaster. I need it. Um, I also met my neighbor, it was so nice. Um, I was like walking in, or I had a luggage cart and I was just standing outside. Like I was writing a Snapchat cause I thought my luggage cart was so funny for some reason. So I um, was just standing there like on my phone and I walked past the guy and I like, didn't say anything cause I don't really say anything to people, I don't know. But then he was like, he saw me, I was standing right outside of like the room, the, room, the room, literally right next to him. So he was like, are you my new neighbor? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I was like, I'm Keith, nice to meet you. He was like, I'm Michael. He was, I'm not gonna say old. Now I'm kind of scared that he get near me because I know he's like going to be right there. But um, he was like an older guy and he was so nice. So I love meeting people like that. I just love to like, I don't know, I love when like I meet people that I live around and they're like super nice. Or like, like how he introduced himself first. Or he like asked me his new mirror first. Like he like, you know, I just like people like that. So that made me kind of happy. Um Okay. Let's get this thing set up. I think it's pretty simple. I think I'll put it back there too. I don't even I mean I could put it in the cabinet if I don't want but I have so much space. I kind of don't care if it's out or what. Okay. Oh my god, my stomach is growling. But look how cute it is. It's literally perfect. So it's a toaster oven, like an open door oven. I didn't um, specify that. That is what I wanted. I wanted like a toaster oven, not the one that you slide the toast into, you know? Because you can make and do so much more with like a toaster oven, so that's why. And I just always had toaster ovens like at my house. I never really used it of, of that other kind. And I don't really want to. I feel like I just like the toaster oven. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really have the lights on in here, but I feel like the lighting is fine because yeah, there we go. I just had to put it on Okay. There's a zip tie on the little apple thing. Okay. That's good, right? Do we like it enough? Yeah. Looks like it belongs over there. Or I could switch it with Osteli. Should I put Osteli in like more over here? Or in the corner and put that right there into that outlet? Yeah. For some reason, I feel like it would be better right next to the bridge. Cause they're like just two little appliances next to each other. Actually, that looks much better. They, they match too. And then I'll put those deli over here or over here. There's outlets and everywhere. So I'm just gonna cover that one. Okay, perfect. I love that a lot. I wanna finish opening these with you. And I do have to download that app. Cause my doorman does not want to hold my packages for me anymore. But, so first I have shower shelves. They're just black, so I'm not going to open them yet. I'll open them later when I'm ready to put them in the shower. But I'm excited to get those set up because I haven't been able to like organize my shower at all. And all my products are on the floor. So I'm super excited about that. 
And then this is drawer, these are drawer organizers. They come with like little sticky, I don't know. But I just got a bunch of plastic little drawer organizers. There's little ones, there's big ones. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna organize all my utensils in that. There's like all sorts of shapes. And I'm not gonna unpack any of those yet either because I'll do that when I'm ready to organize more. And I just kinda wanna show you guys everything before the camera dies. Um, okay. Last package is, oh, I'm so excited. I got, sorry, I got two of these little mushroom lamps. They're white, I got the white ones. They have them in pink, but they're for my bedroom. And I know my bed, my bedroom's kind of a pink vibe, but I feel like at this point, it almost has too much pink. I don't know. I mean, I love the pink, but I don't know. So I got them in white. I also love just like how these look in white. And they're those little mushroom lamps that everyone talks about and loves so much. And it comes with a light bulb, her. And I got little ones because I just have little bedside tables, so this will be perfect. Sorry about my hiccups, they're really annoying me. Oh, there, okay. I'll just drop the whole thing. So I got the striped. There was like a matte white and a, and a striped white. Look at that. It's so cute. And I got two, so they'll be next to my bed on either side. That'll be literally adorable. I'll update you guys like, obviously when I put those in, but I have another one right there in a box too. And then this is a double laundry hamper. So there's two sections. Um, and it's just like a big laundry box basket thing with two little bags inside of it so i'll obviously show you guys once i put that together too but i don't want to really get into that right now because i'm not ready um but in the last little box i do have a candle because i told you guys i ordered a candle remember it's sugar cookie these are all linked in my storefront oh my yum <gasps> we're lighting this right now this is like i just love sugar cookie so this is so good I feel like I should wait to light the Christmas candle. No, I'm probably gonna end up lighting them later today, honestly, but yeah. So I'm gonna go plug in my camera for a little bit and just throw away all the boxes and stuff and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, update. Um, I put together the laundry basket. It's awesome. It's got two sections and they both have like little handles so I could just pull one out to go wash and keep one with clean clothes. You know, like, I don't know, but we'll see how I wanna do that. So I'm gonna go bring this into my room so I can switch out. I do have a laundry basket, but it's not how I want. <laughs> it's not, it's like tiny and I like how this, yeah, it's right there. So I like how this one has multiple sections. I also put the lamps, look how freaking adorable. They're so, so cute. Look at them. They're so cute and they look perfect. And yeah, I'm gonna, Put my, I'm gonna keep this huge thing in the laundry room, obviously, because I have room in there. <laughs> but this is all clean clothes, actually, and I don't have any dirty clothes right now, so I'm just gonna put clean clothes in one side. Perfect. This I can use for anything, like storage. I, it's not even supposed to be a laundry basket because it's so small. It's like a storage bin anyway. So clean clothes in one half, and then I'll do dirty clothes in the other. Oh, but clean clothes I want to keep in my room because I'm going to... Maybe I should keep the laundry thing in my closet because I want to keep the clean clothes so I can put them away in my closet, obviously. But... And then I could just grab the dirty bag out, go, throw it in the wash, bring it back. Yeah, so I'll keep this huge thing in my closet. That sounds good. <laughs> okay, perfect. So that's in there. This I don't want to deal with right now. Okay, I need to eat. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just like roaming around doing a lot of stuff. And the door's open, it's very nice. Um, but the candle smells awesome. Like, so amazing, like I can't even explain. It's, 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 you guys just have to go buy it. Like it's, it's freaking insane. And I have all my boxes over there by the door for me to take out. And yeah. So, I'll probably do like a little fast motion while I make my food. 
So see you then. Hey you guys, um, I just wanted to come on here to end off this vlog. I had intended on making it much longer. Well, I had a few more clips to include in this vlog, but it just, it got so long and then at like my computer reaches a point where I just can't keep importing clips into the same video because of like a storage issue. And I've just been trying and trying and I just, I wanna get this vlog up for you guys so you can watch it. People are like, Kate, hey, come on, like where's the vlogs? Post something on YouTube for us. And I'm like dying to and I have this all this footage, but I've just been putting off editing because I wanted to get every single clip in this um, vlog and it just looks like I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm not gonna waste any clips. I'm not gonna delete anything. I'm probably just gonna put the clips um, that I was intending to be for this vlog, the rest of them in my next one. And I have, I have another one already filmed too. So I'm just gonna get to editing again and post that. And then hopefully after that, I can be better at time and like, you know, realize when I'm filming a vlog that's taking hours like that's gonna be like end up being like a two hour long vlog after it's edited and i just have to like be better about that and i also have to get a new sd card so i can still film when i have footage that are that's on my sd cards now like i just need another one so i have more room for footage but i wanted to come on here and end off the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this i think it's my like first yeah it's my first apartment vlog so i'm super excited about that but i do have lots of more footage lots of more vlogs coming um because the second I post this one, I can delete all the footage from my computer and then just get to editing the next one. So that's like what I'm dying to do. I just want to get this one up so I can start editing the rest because I want to get videos up for you guys. And I love posting for you guys. So that's what we're doing. But if, um, if this vlog seems, I know it's like 50 minutes long or whatever, so it's not a short vlog or anything. But if it seems like I missed something or that like there's like clips missing towards the end or like I said that I would show you something and I didn't, like that's why. Um, I just wanted to like be completely transparent and let you guys know that. Um, and that the clips will be in probably my next vlog or they'll you'll you'll still see them, you know um, But today's Sunday. It's like a what a few weeks later I think after I filmed this vlog, but I'm waiting for my Wi-Fi to get put in So I'm super excited about that because I've been here for two weeks with no Wi-Fi So I can't wait but I'm waiting for the people to come set it up and I'm just finishing editing this video But I wanted to end this off. I love you guys so so much. I'm gonna be posting so much in the month of December I'm not gonna do vlogmas um, a lot of people have been asking me about that as well, and I just want to touch on that too. Sorry about the lighting, but I'm not going to do Vlogmas. Um, I am going to post, though, as much as I can in the month of December. I think Vlogmas would just be a lot for me to do, and I'm, like, not used to that. And it's, it would just be, like, way too much for me to handle right now. Maybe next year it could be, like, a good goal for me, but um, I'm still going to do, like, lots of vlogging in december and it's gonna be like not as much of a normal month you know like i'm still gonna try to make it more of a vlogging on youtube type of month um just because i think it will be fun to like change it up a little bit and you know like focus on vlogging or something how everyone else says even if i'm not doing like actual vlogmas but yeah um so i think that's all i had to say to you guys thank you so much for watching my vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i'll see you in the next one i love you guys so much